primary aim is to ensure national consistency of service so that all children, irrespective of where they live, receive the, the appropriate care indicated by their clinical needs on a uniform national basis. And it's very important that all services and all those who work in them have clear guidance and direction so that we can achieve that national uniformity. That's really what the SOP is about. It provides a, an organised structure for services um, and it allows for consistency in terms of how we deliver our services, how people can access our services um, and more importantly it sets out what people can expect when they access the services. I think for the staff it allows for a more organised approach to service delivery. Um, until now we have services working in different ways, we have teams that comprise of different members, different numbers of staff, um, and this allows services to compare themselves to their neighbours, to other parts of the country. It allows for them to look at how they're performing, how they're actually um, measuring what they do in a uniform way. We're a group of professionals throughout CAMS, all very experienced and all a variety of disciplines. And so we've been meeting quite regularly and we're overseen by the CAMS Service Improvement Steering Group. And our first task was to deliver standardised care in CAMS across the country. So we set about developing a, a standardised operating procedure for the country and today we're launching that document. <music> There was a combination of extensive literature review in terms of looking at other services internationally and seeing what they did, but also looking at our own local knowledge and local experience of clinicians that they were having in terms of the struggles. And what we found was we were not too different to each other and certainly not different to other services internationally.